John's just mentioned your, your main task, keep the, the club in this division. You seem prepared to take these knocks, if not accept them, to take them and make sure that we move on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think I said after the game that uh, a wise person once said to me, uh, accept the things you cannot change. So I can't change the result from Saturday, so I've got to move on. Uh, do I move on and brush things under the table? No. Do, do I identify some, some of the errors and some of the mistakes we made? Yes. Uh, and But we've got to learn from them. I know you mentioned you were looking for leaders. Danny's obviously one of those. Are you starting to see other players in other areas step forward and, yeah, and take that leadership yeah, role? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 again, it's work in progress because a player, a player doesn't suddenly come go from a from a boy to a man, uh, and and that's what we need. But but that's a part of the development that we're in today. So I'm not saying the players are still in puberty. Um, but uh, <laughs> but you have to pay them for, pay them for that idea. Players are developing. The the, 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 the young the young teenagers uh, are turning into young men, uh, and and part of that is uh, life experiences, football experiences uh, that they're going to get. You know, none of the players wanted to be out there and be three 0 down uh, in front of whatever they were, like uh, you know, ten thousand plus, whatever it was. Uh, after a, a long journey down, did the players want to go out there and be one? Down, two, down, three, no down, three, no down. No. Will they learn from it? Yes. Um, and again, is it a case of turning around and individually pointing a finger? No. It's collectively we have to take full responsibility in everything that we do, even down to the kickoff, down to the, the first throw in, the first goal kick. It's one of them. Collectively, we're all in it together. How much of your Saturday night and Sunday is taken up reliving, having a look at, and learning from that game? Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, and then once I've delivered the um, delivered the video analysis to the players, bang, then it's gone. Because so I've, I've, I've given them the opportunity, <coughs> and I've given them my, my views, the coaching staff's views. But, but again, it's not a drawn, it's not long drawn. It we don't take four hours uh, over over it. It's one of the fasting forward. Uh, sometimes we fast forward through, through uh, some of the good bits uh, to get to some of the bad bits, where whereby you know, that's where that's where we've been exposed. If you have a look at the uh, the second goal, for instance. Now, if that second goal doesn't go in and we go in at 1-0, it, it can be a completely different game. Again, what we've done, the it's come from our corner and, and, and basically we've been caught on the counter-attack. Something that we've, that we've talked about through the week about not happening. So if you can't go and put pressure on the board, don't go and, don't go and commit yourself. Don't get caught in wide areas if you, if you are a defensive midfield player. And then if you're at the back and you're marking a man, mark your man, not the space that he wants, he wants to run into. So, so, so again, but, but we're learning. Keith, just...